Dears, now we are moving on to the third session. First question: Poetry is the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings recollected in the tranquility of mind. Who remarked this one? Poetry is the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings recollected in the tranquility of mind. Who remarked this one? Options: Keats, Wordsworth, Coleridge, Shelley. Answer Wordsworth. It is the famous definition regarding poetry, and Wordsworth said that poetry is the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings recollected in the tranquility of mind. Next one. Poetry is the best words in best order. Who said so? It is also the definition of poetry. Poetry is the best words in best order. Who remarked this one? Options: Coleridge, Shelley, Byron, Keats. Answer: Coleridge. Next one. Who reproduced King Lear with a happy ending? Who reproduced King Lear with a happy ending? Options: Shakespeare, Ben Jonson, Nahum Tate, Bernard Shaw. Answer. Nahum Tate. King Lear is the famous tragedy of William Shakespeare. The four great tragedies of Shakespeare are Hamlet, Macbeth, Othello, and King Lear. Here, King Lear ends with a tragedy. King Lear is a tragedy, and it is ending in bloodshed and uh, murders. But it is Nahum Tate. Who gave a happy ending to King Lear? Next one. Who is the author of the book The God of Small Things? Who is the author of the book The God of Small Things? It is a very famous book. And who is the author? Options: Kamala Das, Arundhati Roy, Mahashweta Devi, Shashi Desh Pandey. Answer: Arundhati Roy. Arundhati Roy got the Booker Prize for this novel. This is a novel, The God of Small Things, and the setting of the novel is Kerala. Uh, the proper place is Kottayam district. Okay, then next one. Who wrote the biography of Nisim Ezekiel? Nisim Ezekiel is a famous Indian English writer, and who wrote the biography of Nisim Ezekiel? Options: Mulkra Janand. R K Narayan, R Raja Rao, Girish Karnad. These are the famous Indian English writers, and the, the correct answer is R Raja Rao. Next one, a, re, a repetition of consonant sounds is called a dash. A repetition of consonant sounds. It is a figure of speech, and the repetition of consonant sound is called a dash. Options: personification, assonance, oxymoron, alliteration. Answer: alliteration. Here, personification means it is a figure of speech in which human qualities are attributed to inanimate objects. Assonance means a repetition of vowel sounds. Oxymoron. It is also a figure of speech in which Two contradictory ideas are joined together. Comparison by using the words as or like is called a dash. Comparison by using the words as or like is called a dash. It is a figure of speech in which we can see a comparison, and the comparison is by using the words as or like. Options. Options: simile, metaphor. Personification, alliteration. Answer: Simile. Next one. Who popularized dramatic monologue? Who popularized dramatic monologue? Dramatic monologue is a technique in which it is a poetic technique in which there is a speaker and a listener, and the presence of the listener is known through the words of the speaker. The person who popularized Dramatic monologue is Browning. The answer is Browning. Robert Browning.
Next one. In which year Ernest Hemingway won the Nobel Prize for Literature? In which year Ernest Hemingway won the Nobel Prize for Literature? Options 1954, 1953, 1952, 1950. Answer 1954. Ernest Hemingway is a famous American writer. And he got Nobel Prize for Literature for the work The Old Man and the Sea. The Old Man and the Sea is the novel. And for that novel, he got the Nobel Prize for Literature. Next one. Name the poem recited by Robert Frost during the inauguration ceremony of John Kennedy. John F. Kennedy. Huh? Name the poem recited by Robert Frost during the inauguration ceremony of John F. Kennedy. Options, the road not taken, birches, stopping by woods on a snowy evening, gift outright. These are the poems of Robert Frost. Robert Frost is a famous American poet. The correct answer is gift outright. Next one, a comedy with a tragic element is called a dash. A comedy with a tragic element is called a dash. Options, tragic comedy, black comedy, humor, tragedy. Answer, black comedy. Here, tragic comedy is also a play that has tragic elements, but it ends in a comic manner or a happy ending. Next one, the word sonnet came from the word sonato, which means a little song. From which language the word came from? Options Italian, French, German, Greek. The correct answer is Italian. From the Italian word sonato, the word sonat came, and the meaning of the word is a little new thing. Next one A poem addressing someone or something is called dash. A poem. Addressing someone or something is called a dash. Options, odd, elegy, sonnet, epic. Answer, odd. Odd is a poem addressing something or someone. Examples of some odds are odd on a Grecian urn, odd to skylark, odd to autumn, odd to the nightingale, etc. Next one. The confusion of whether to believe in God or science is called a dash. The confusion of whether to believe in God or science is called a dash. Options, confusion, Victorian confusion, then Victorian dilemma or dilemma the confusion whether to believe in god or science is called the victorian dilemma victorian dilemma uh, that is during this period there came the famous book the original species and after that the people are in a confusion whether to believe in science or god and this confusion is called victorian dilemma Next one, man is born free but everywhere he is in chains. Who remarked so? Man is born free but everywhere he is in chains. Options, Voltaire, Rousseau, Montesquieu, Aristotle. Answer, Rousseau. Rousseau is called the father of negative education. Here, he is the author of the famous book, Emily. Emily and Social Contract. Next one, Lyrical Ballads is a famous work in English literature. In which year it is published? Lyrical Ballads. It is a milestone in English history. And this book marked a great change. That is, this book brought romanticism. And in which year this book was published? 1789, 1798, 
when who wrote the work the waste land the waste land is a famous work and who is the author of this work it is a modern work and who is the author options wordsworth t s eliot robert frost shakespeare answer t s eliot next one name the autobiographical work of charles dickens charles dickens is a famous novelist and the what is the or which one is the autobiographical work of charles dickens options pickwick papers invisible man tale of two cities david copperfield answer david copperfield next one novels with the elements like magic supernatural elements horror etc are called dash novels with the dramatic elements like magic supernatural elements horror etc are called dash options gothic novels horror novels science novels magic novels answer gothic novels next one who is called sensuous poet who is called a sensuous poet sensuous means appealing to our senses who is called a sensuous poet options wordsworth shelley john keats lord byron answer john keats john keats is called a sensuous poet and his poems can appeal to our senses so he is called a sensuous poet okay that is all today see you in the next class thank you